Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to talk about something that's new to RLCraft 2.9, which is armor set bonuses. Shivaxi's done a great job at rebalancing the Spartan weaponry, so there's no longer a single best weapon. There's now a lot of different weapons that you might want to use depending on your situation or your play style or whatever the case may be, which I think is really, really cool. Additionally, it looks like Shiv's trying to do something similar with armor by adding armor set bonuses to some of the less used armor sets to maybe make them more viable depending on the stage of the game or how you want to play the game. As an example, there is now armor sets that give you a bonus to magic damage and magic weaponry. We've also had a slight rework on the scepters as well, so playing as a mage may actually now be a viable option in RLCraft. And to be honest, I'll probably end up doing a, a how to play as a mage in RL craft type guide at some point in the future because I think it would be really cool to see different play styles. Anyway, let's get into the different armor set bonuses currently available in RL craft. So we have one secret set bonus, which is with leather armor. You see all mine is set as masterful. You need to have a full set of masterful leather armor to unlock this set bonus. And then once you've unlocked it, you know, you've worn a full set of masterful leather. It will always show, even if you take it off, it'll show, you see the bottom there, a ranger danger. So a full set of leather armor with masterful will give you absorption and true shot. You see the absorption at the bottom gives us two extra yellow hearts. And the true shot will give us plus three extra range damage. So this is quite nice for an early game ranger. Maybe if you're very early game, you make yourself a bow and you get yourself a small cow farm, you'll be able to make up your leather armor and quality uh, and change the qualities over to masterful. The silver armor gives you cure. Now I'm not exactly sure on each of the potion effects. I done some I've done some testing and it seems like cure will pretty much protect you from every type of potion effect. If we grab some random potions, let's grab some random splash potions here. Let's grab a negative one real quickly. What do we have? We have uh here, let's go slowness. So even slowness, it's not a poison, it's not a wither, it's sort of a random debuff potion effect and we do not get that when wearing cure. So that to me tells me it's probably going to cover pretty much all negative potion effects. We have the Umbrium Armor, which is available at defense level four. It's only defense level four, and it gives you some strong locational armor, but it also gives you immunization and strength. So immunization seems to avoid uh, potion uh, poison damage. Um, it doesn't affect wither or, uh, from what I can tell, anything else. If anyone knows any of the effects or any of additional info on the effects that I, I'm clearly not specifically knowledgeable about please put those in the comments below so if there's any you're curious about someone's hopefully answered that in the comments for you so we the umbrium armor does not need or none of these need a masterful ra rating it's only for the leather that you need that however shiv has suggested that there might be additional ones in future which i think would be really really cool it'd be really nice to see some extra secret set bonuses so, uh, the Tide Guardian is not quite a set bonus, and you guys will probably all be aware of this, but the Tide Guardian gives you water breathing as long as you're wearing one piece, and it will also give you a strength bonus depending on the number of armor pieces you're wearing. So right now I get strength one, because I'm wearing one piece, and if I wear all four, then I'll have strength four, which is actually very, very cool. There are some scepters that can do water spells that do, like, spread lots of water around, and there's some other ways that you might be able to gain advantages from this outside of, say, being in the middle of the ocean. The next set bonus we're going to have a look at is the Neptunium armor. The Neptunium armor is somewhat similar. It gives you water breathing, and it also allows you to swim faster in water. It's like uh, Tide Guardian's little brother. <laughs> and then we've also got the two magic-based set bonuses from Golden Armor, which will give you magis magic focus one and magic shield one this essentially gives you uh plus 75 percent magic damage and this gives you plus four magic shielding i'm not exactly sure on the mechanics of magic shielding however it essentially means that you've got a magic shield surprise surprise that will prevent some of the incoming damages i'm not sure of the exact mechanics on how it works but it essentially means that it's a, it's an extra layer of protection that reduces damage before it comes and hits your actual armor and potentially your body. Now, the golden bookworm armor is the same as the golden armor, but just level two of each of those. So you've got plus 150% magic damage and plus eight magic shielding. I've done some testing with this set of armor with some of the scepters that are out there, and you can actually get some pretty decent scepter combinations 
some pretty uh, decent magic attacks and some pretty decent magic damage um, wearing this armor. I think it's really, really cool, and I'd like to see... I'm going to do more testing with magic builds and stuff and hopefully come out with a How to Be a Mage in RL Craft 2.9 guide at some point in the future, and hopefully it's a genuinely viable option because I think that would be really, really cool. Alrighty, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every single day. Sometimes we take Monday and Friday off for editing. I go live at 3 o'clock or before 3 o'clock on weekdays and around 1 o'clock on weekends. It would be great to see some of you guys there. We also run an RLCraft 2.9 server, which you'd be welcome to join. All you got to do to get on the whitelist is jump on the Twitch channel, gain 3,000 channel points, redeem the whitelist thingy, and then you'll be able to get into the server. Uh, I believe that's it. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day. Take care.